Man, let me tell y'all boys something, man. This Geico Nationals this season has been nothing short of just straight excitement for our team, man. I mean, we've been on a roll, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. First matchup, first round, we had to go up against them boys at IMG, and none other than that man, Keontae George. Now, let me tell you, whenever I say we was clicking, I mean, we was clicking on all cylinders that entire game from start to finish everybody contributed had a great game great team vibes and honestly we just went out there and handled business you know what i'm saying it was a, it was a first round we wanted to get it out of the way because we would knew we was destined for greatness you know what i'm saying and with that first round being out of the way man we just you know what i'm saying we moving on to bigger and better things we came out with the victory 86 to 81 but that doesn't even tell the story of how this game went i mean it was a blowout from start to finish but that next game against the cold hearts completely different story i mean it was a it was a struggle start to finish them boys at lte know how to hoop man i'll tell you that much you know what i'm saying and it just felt like it, no team could get a lead or get an advantage at any point in time because whenever we came up they came right back whenever they got up we came charging right back it got really hectic in that game man and i'm telling you it was a dog fight start to finish and shout out to my boy Wesley for making a dog fight because he had an absolute game. But you know us. Whenever we pinned up against the wall, got our backs against the wall, we're not going back down. We're going to continue to play our game, man. And even at the end of the game with the way that Matt played, it came down to a last second shot. And I'm pretty sure everybody that watched knows how it ended. The basket counts and SoCal wins the game. Off a three-pointer from Dior Washington, you have got to be kidding me. What a crazy way to end a game like this. Along with being named the Gatorade Player of the Year for the 2023 season, I mean, honestly, it was just an honor, man. 4.81 GPA, absolutely balled out this season and rightfully deserved. But I do want to give a shout out to each and every single person out there that supported me in getting this award. But with all that to the side, man, you already know what time it is. We got a tough matchup. We going up against a familiar foe here in this video. And I ain't gonna hold y'all boys, man. Last time we played against these two boys, I'm pretty sure everybody know how that one went. A couple seconds left. This is it. We've seen this before. Is he gonna do it? Marshall guarding him tight. The crowd is on their feet. Matthews drives, spins for the win. Oh, good! It goes it's in. good! It goes CJ in. Matthews wins it for so Are you kidding me? And we are back with another installment of that high school who's man. I know it's been a minute. Had some stuff going on, but look, man. We here, and that's all that matters. Semi-final action of the Geico Nationals, and it's none other than the Hillcrest Prep Bruins, as y'all already seen in the intro, who took a tough L earlier this season. With tip-off underway here, ladies and gentlemen, this is a revenge game for Hillcrest Prep, but we gotta continue to still do our thing out here, man. We trying to win a championship, so let's get into it. After they got the first bucket of the game here, we trying to respond here on our first position. My boy Darius see me at the corner, and I'm pulling up for the mid-range too. And I do wanna get this out of the way before this game starts. Unfortunately, there is no game audio as y'all can hear, but I will have that face for the next one. But JP, going up with a floater also for some odd reason dior is wearing 10 don't know why that's happening but it doesn't matter because i'm getting the three to go man y'all already know what time it is man y'all already know what we be doing on offense man we just be trying to go crazy for real we just trying to be getting hype and dior going up with that slam oh my goodness rising up all over him on the defensive end y'all already know we getting stops we not trying to have another ote start where we starting off slow but you see me throwing that alley to my boy kj duck it all over raheel reeves i'm sorry it had to be done to you my boy i've been having this debate for quite some time but y'all let me know down in the comment section as jp pulls up for three there off the ankle breaker who do y'all got in a 1v1? JP Marshall or Raheel Reeves? I love to see this. Also, another thing I want to know is, do y'all want me to start doing live com on these games? Because the live comms be funny as you see me rising up, getting another dunk to go, man. We extending that lead. I know Hillcrest is really pushing hard to get that revenge, but I ain't gonna lie to you. It's, <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen. And I don't know, Dior is on the same page as me. Dunk it all over JP Marshall. Look, man. They star players that already got dunked on in the first quarter alone. That's crazy. They calling a timeout. 
but don't get it twisted man this hillcrest prep team definitely does have some ballers man and this game won't be short of any excitement as he's pulling up almost from the logo of my boy Raheel Reeves knocking it down now you already know that we gotta get a response if you gonna pull up from the logo like that then we gonna get a response but I didn't expect it to be from my boy T Millie pulling up for three when did he get a strap like that hold on we in the second quarter now coach got my boy matt bringing up the ball here trying to run the offense they sent me a nice little down screen i'm getting to the top of the key and i'm dunking it home man i ain't gonna lie that's a crazy beautiful play man we gotta run that more hey man we starting to get away with a little bit of a lead here man but hillcrest coming back with a response of their own mid-range jump shot right there i'm really trying to show these boys that that last game we played against each other wasn't a fluke as you see my boy dior throwing a lob to my boy darius 180 alley Ooh, slam hey man y'all already know we trying to run up the score against these boys we really trying to let these boys know that it was not a fluke calling for another down screen to my boy matt the shooter and you know he finna knock that thing down man and they calling another timeout right here trying to make some offense for hill cut press he's going up for the and one somehow he gets that thing to go man that was a tough lay i ain't even gonna hold you so i'm my boy right here though that n1 might have gave hill crep some momentum here they go kick it to my boy jp step back pull up three and he gonna knock that thing down man jp is tough i ain't gonna lie we stretching out this lead a little bit getting to the line getting some free throws and now we running it in transition my boy tj got it but sweet day i'm gonna need you to swing that rock to me real quick and y'all already know what time it is it's that point of the game where i hit up old reliable calling for the screen throwing a double clutch lob to my boy t millie and he knocking that thing down and y'all know what they say man 17 seconds left on the clock if it ain't broke don't fix it going back to my boy t millie again off the alley-oop throwing it all the way back he cocking it back and going to get it man that's tough first half went by real quick and we already here in the third quarter and if hillcrest wants to have any chance of coming back in this one they gonna need to do it and they gonna need to do it now my boy Raheel reeves knocking down a three-pointer on the other end i'm losing the ball real quick swinging it to my boy t millie he call it for the screen he pulling up for three and he knocking that thing down t millie is having a game today for a good two minutes though there was like no scoring at all you know what i'm saying and then this happens i'm leaving right here wide open for three once again that's really his hot spot i gotta stop leaving him open but he knocking out another three-pointer let me know if y'all want to see some of the bench pov like this man as my boy will smith jr subscriber bill get into the basket and give himself a tough lay up to go y'all let me know down in the comment section if y'all want to see the bench gameplay too man so y'all see the full game will smith jr once again though subscriber bill going crazy man i ain't gonna lie ever since i went to the bench i don't know what's going on here but my team's starting to slip up a little bit and now i'm seeing a mismatch that i don't like in the paint and that's exactly where they going to my boy matt i'm sorry they gotta abuse you like this but they're getting an easy layup with a seven foot three lanky center but i hate seven foot three lanky centers but y'all know this but but like y'all know how it be with time winding down here in the third quarter that boy jp marshall pull it up for three with a bang he trying to keep his team in it it's only a seven point game though this hillcrest prep team is not going down without any sort of fight anytime soon it's only a seven point game man look at will smith putting on the moves kicking it to my boy right here for three contested over kj and he knocking it down to make it only a four point game we making sure that we trying to secure this lead in the fourth quarter i know it's early but anything can happen in these games as we know as darius going up for the and one that was absolutely insane the way he just threw the ball up threw a prayer and it went in after checking back into the game man my boy darius missed a free throw but you see my boy jp in the corner wide open we had terrible rotation there and now they're making it a three-point game we get into that crunch time mode me and dior running that two game and i'm telling you that two game be working as i'm knocking down another shot man to extend the lead i ain't gonna lie we've been going crazy this entire game and i don't want to let up off the gas but so has my boy raheel reese man they haven't been able to stop him tonight he's been going crazy we didn't get any buckets on that last position and here they are running in, in transition that boy jp said let me go ahead tie this game up and we call it a timeout 51 to 51 here and that boy jp is hype he went one for two at the free throw line here so we back on defense and hill Crep is trying to take the lead here on this position they going for the lob missing it and that boy t millie kicking it up to me let me show you how to throw a lob real quick dunking all over that boy Raheel reeves once again we coming up on four minutes left in this game man and hillcrest sees it in their eyes man calling for a down screen to get it to their boy newman who pulling up for three tie this game right back up 
I already know the pick and roll has been working for us this entire game i'm waiting beautiful dish and dime on the inside to my boy there is see that's that basketball court vision man they coming back with their own pick and roll action but i did not know that they center had a little strap on him as he's pulling up from the mid range getting that shot to go and tying this game right back up again we coming up big on the defensive end darius getting into the pockets of Rahil and getting that steal and you know what time it is i'm throwing it up to that boy t millie slamming it down and we taking the lead again creating buckets back and forth in the fourth quarter that's what this entirety of this quarter has been about Rahil reese pulling up from the mid range knocking that shot down and they tying it back up once again i ain't even gonna hold y'all boys i don't even know what we call this play i'll call it the cj dior cycle because we really just spinning in circles but i'm getting to the basket and slamming that thing home to give us another two-point lead i can't keep trading buckets like this y'all it's getting intense and as i say that i don't want to keep trading buckets here comes the man himself jp marshall with another scoop layup to go to tie the game back up so i'm like hold on i'm not gonna keep doing this it's tj versus jp now i'm getting to that basket i'll pull up with a crazy floater shot and i go lie, it's, it's just a look of the draw man that's just how you feeling right now that's a crazy shot I mean, at this point, like, I don't even know what this play was right here. They was calling for a screen to get him downhill. JP gets his own rebound after Darius knocks it back into his hand, and he just dunks it back home. So I'm like, you know what? Let's keep this thing rolling, man, because if that's how you come in, then I'm going to come correct too, you feel me? Swinging it to my boy KJ. He kicking it back out to me. I'm calling for that screen. You see it? I get the step back, pull up, bang! Taking a two-point lead with under two minutes left. Y'all already know what time it is, man. It is that JP versus CJ showdown. And CJ getting the block. CJ's getting a block. KJ taking it down on the other end. He's pulling up for the three. And he's knocking that thing down to give us a five-point lead. In the hands of Marshall once again. He's trying to get another bucket, redeem himself. He driving to the basket once again and gets rejected again. Another block by Darius this time. But the ball gets tipped out of bounds, man. But two clutch defensive possessions back to back. In the hands of JP once again for his third go around. Will he get the bucket this time? Crossover gets to the basket and somehow. Out of all the ones that should have been blocked, that one goes in. He has 26 tonight. He's been going crazy. Hillcrest has got it here. Only down three. We're under a minute left. So this is it. JP pulls up for the three-pointer. He misses. They get the rebound. Goes up again. Misses once again. Two shots. And they missed it. I tried to kick it inside the KJ. He didn't go for it. So I'm calling for that reset. And y'all look. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to put the dagger in them. Oh, my boy, right here. I'm sorry it had to be you, my brother. But I'm getting to the wreck. And dunking it home. And that might just do it. And ladies and gentlemen, after playing everyone's favorite game, the free throw game, with 6.6 seconds left, we have defeated the Hillcrest Prep Bruins, and we are going on to play in the national championships here in the Geico Nationals. This has been CJ's dream to finally play on the big stage, and his big opportunity to do so will finally come in the next video man you guys want to stay tuned for that man we had a crazy game make sure you guys check out all the stats appreciate each and every one of you guys watching the videos all the way through cj's high school career is almost over y'all it's almost over but make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe comment turn on post notifications share with all your friends cj series been going crazy love y'all and until next time we have